This patient has a large high-grade lesion that stretches from the left anterior to the left lateral position. He also has large condyloma as well as a flat high grade in the posterior part of the anal canal. So I'm going to start by inserting a clear plastic anoscope with tetracaine gel on it and uh, lubricant into the anal canal. I then put in a vinegar soaked swab for one minute. The acetic acid helps bring out the lesions so that they're much more visible. Externally, he looks completely normal. I had not seen any lesions there. I'm now going to insert the anoscope in. Patients don't prepare for the procedures. You can see the large condyloma, as well as a hypertrophic papilla inside the rectum. Now I'm looking for the high grade that we had. You can see the aceta whitening there. I'm going to put on some Lugol's iodine. And the high grade stretches from here all the way up to there. And then we have the two condyloma, as I mentioned. And then here is the other high grade, posteriorly. This was the high grade right there that was biopsied. Now I'm going to start injecting, and I like to use Marcaine anesthetic, 0.5%, and I go distal to the lesion rather than right into the lesion, and I just bury the bevel below the skin surface. I don't go deep, and this is a 1cc syringe. And once I take the needle out of the anal canal and the anoscope, I immediately pass it off. I never reuse it or reinsert it because that's when the potential to stick yourself is very great. I'm now going to use another CC for this large lesion and I'm just going directly beneath the surface. And now I want to inject the high grade in this area. So again the bevel just disappears and inject down here anteriorly. So we use three CC's to do this entire area. Okay, so now we're going to start treating the lesions. So I use like a painting technique, very gently moving the electrode over the lesion. Remove the epithelium. And for warts, what I like to do is I like to really burn the surface of the wart really well. And then, once it's burned well, I scrape it off to, to remove some of it. You can see the char from the wart that's come off, which has greatly diminished the size of the wart, the bulk. And this way, I'm not burning as much tissue. And I can even use a little biopsy forceps to remove some of that excess char. And the nice thing about the hypercator is it's very hemostatic. Do a little bit more right here. Now I'm going to move to the other wart, which was left posteriorly, where I basically burn as much of the surface of the wart as I can. Scrape the scope in. You can see the char comes off and really diminishes the amount of wart left. And again, I'll use my biopsy forceps 
to debride this char so I don't have to keep burning the patient. Remember, heat spreads, and that's what causes scarring and pain. And I, and I open up the fold to make sure the entire wart bed has been treated. So the amount of treatment, the area, is much smaller than what the wart actually looked like because the base is usually smaller. Now we're going to go after the high grade here and the iodine solution is completely gone so we're going to reapply it to outline this broad lesion that you see here. You have to be sure that you go distal enough to normal tissue. These are all normal vessels here, so I'm fine. Now I'm going to reposition the scope more towards the anterior aspect where the high grade's thicker. Now you see here, you can see these submucosal vessels coming through right there. That's the depth I like to go to. What you also see over here are these little dots right here. These are probably the abnormal vessels that were causing the punctation. So I want to destroy those. I want to get through those vessels. After I've done it, I recheck to make sure that I've fully treated everything that I need to treat. I want to go a little bit higher here. Just to be sure. Now I'm going to look in the back here where we had one wart and then we had another. That's it. Thank you.